इंजिनिअरिंग फंडामेंटल्स गायडन्स बाय सोमया सर पुणे एंड आय एम युगंधरा तळेले कंटेंट ऑफ द व्हिडिओज आर इंट्रोडक्शन केबल्स इट्स डेफिनेशन सम बेसिक्स प्रॉब्लेम ऑन केबल्स देन वॉट आर पुलीस सम नोट्स रिगार्डिंग हाऊ टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लेम्स ऑन पुलीस वॉट इज मेकॅनिकल ॲडवांटेज ऑफ पुली ब्लॉक अँड सम प्रॉब्लेम्स ऑन पुली सो लेट्स सी केबल्स सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी हाऊ टू डू द इंटरनल अनालिसिस हाऊ टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लेम्स ऑन केबल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट now we are looking at the problem diagram in which a b c and d is a cable which has a segment ab bc and cd at joint a and joint d it is a pin support and at joint b vertical load of 35 kN and at joint c vertical load of 56 kN is given the horizontal distance between each joint is 2 m and the vertical distance of joint b from the horizontal line is 2 m so let's solve the problem first step in solving the problem is drawing structure fbd by the previous problems you know what is structure fbd it is by removing the supports we show the reactions offered by those supports so let's do that support a and d offers two reactions as they are pin supports so va and ha at support a and horizontal reaction hd and vertical vd at support d so after drawing the structure fbd next step is to find out support reactions so for that we will apply equations of equilibrium and the basic note about the cable structure so we will solve it and always note the sign convention so first we will take summation of moment at a so for that v d vertical force v d into lever arm 6 and it is creating an anti clockwise moment about a so it is positive now the force of negative 56 kN in downward direction it is creating and clockwise moment so it is negative into lever arm of 4 meter now the downward force of 35 kN is creating a clockwise moment about a so it is negative into 2 meter the lever arm so after solving this equation we get vd is equal to 49 kN now we have next equation as summation of fy so let's apply that equation va plus vd minus 35 minus 56 is equal to 0 
which gives us Va is equal to 42 kN. Since we already know Vd from the above equation. Now we have solved two unknowns. Two unknowns are still remaining. HA and VA. So we have one equation of summation of horizontal forces but by using that equation we will get HA only and for getting HD we will also need another equation. So by applying this concept taking summation of moment at B on only left hand side. So let's apply that. H A into 2 this vertical distance to lever arm and this V A vertical force into 2 and it is creating clockwise moment. So negative of VA into 2 is equal to 0. And why we have taken only left side, not right side? Because on the right side, there are three forces. And here, only two forces are there. So it is simpler. So we took summation of moment at B on left hand side. We have already seen in the concepts of cable. The reason behind why we took summation of moment only on one side. Let's uh, please watch that video before for better understanding. So by solving this we get HA is equal to 42 kN. And now the last equation summation of fx is equal to what minus of ha plus hd is equal to 0. By solving this we get hd is equal to 42 kN. After finding out these support reactions at pin support A and pin support D, we will find out the resultant of these reactions. Okay, so how to find out that resultant in the basics of forces? We have seen this formula F is equal to under root of summation of fx square plus fy square and phi that is the angle of that resultant with x-axis is tan inverse of the ratio fy by fx. So by applying it at support A that is for HA and VA the two components 42 square plus 42 square and under root of that sum and applying phi is equal to tan inverse of 42 upon 42 we get Ra is equal to 59.39 kN and alpha is equal to 45 degrees. Similarly at support D applying this same equation we get R D is equal to 64.53 kN and alpha is equal to 49.3 D degrees. So these reactions, resultant reactions we found out by using the formula we will show in the diagram. How like this R A 59.39 kN collinear with the segment AB and at D RD is equal to 64.53 kN 
collinear with CD. Internal analysis. What is internal analysis? Internal analysis means finding out the force in these segments. Segment AB, BC and CD. What is the force they are carrying? So let's do that internal analysis. So TAB is RA equal to 59.39 kilonewton. I already told because RA is collinear with AB and TCD is equal to RD is equal to 64.53 kilonewton. Why? Because they are equal and opposite and also collinear. So we have shown these forces, internal forces in the segment AB, tensile force 59.39 and tensile force of 64.53 in segment CD. Now we want forces in segment BC for that. What are the options? How can we find out? Mm, we will require little geometry here. We know the joint B is at 2 meters from horizontal. But we don't know how much is the joint C from this horizontal reference. But we know this vertical 2 meter. So up to here it is 2 meter. So consider this total as YC. So this distance will be YC minus 2. So, to find out YC, we will do summation of moment C on RHS. You know it is a cable segment. And in cable segment, we can take summation of moment on any one side of the cable. So, summation of moment C on RHS. So, 49 into 2 and it is anticlockwise so positive minus 42 into yc is equal to 0. So we get YC is equal to 2.33. Now we need angle made by this member BC with horizontal. So how to find out that? Can you see? The right angle triangle forming here, this one. And we have YC. So we also have this distance. So by applying tan inverse of YC minus YB by 2, is equal to 9.36 degrees. So YC is 2.33 meter and this angle is 9.36 degrees. It is very important 
to show that in the diagram. Why? Because we have to use that. Let's see. We will apply a method of joint here. So solving the joint B. So for that reason, it is important to show this angle, the distances in the diagram. Now let's separate out this joint B. What we see at joint B? We have solved method of joints for truss. So like that, we have this force 59.39 at 45 degrees. BC force and this 35 kilonewton. And this angle is 9.36. Okay. So by applying this equation TBC upon angle between the remaining forces sine of 45 degree plus 90 degree is equal to 35 divided by sine of angle between remaining forces that is this 180 minus 45 plus 9.36 we get tbc is equal to 42.47 kilonewton so tbc is shown in the diagram it is 42.47 kilonewton if you want to check the forces between the segments are correct or not then you can check by considering the remaining joint and check if it is in equilibrium or not. So like truss, separate out this joint and apply equations of equilibrium and check if it is satisfying or not. Here it is summation of Fy is 0. And summation of fx is 0. So yes, this cable is in equilibrium. If you find this video useful, then please share. It will help others. And subscribe to get notified about the new videos.